Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we've got the new Tuft & Needle exclusively sold at Sam's Club. Very similar to the original. Couple differences, we're gonna compare them side by side, let you know what our thoughts are. Let's get into it. So this is the Sam's Club Tuft Needle mattress. And if you guys remember about three or four years ago, our first mattress review was a Tuft Needle. And so it's really cool to see what, you know, how far they've come and kind of the, the different variations. And this one's actually very similar. It's 10 inches, it has two layers of foam. And so really the only difference between this and the original is that this one's a little bit firmer. How, how firm do you think it is out of 10? I would maybe say it's like a seven out of 10. So just a tiny bit firmer than the original, maybe a medium, medium, firm and um, this this has the two layers of foam and one's called the adaptive layer this doesn't have graphite built in like the cooling or like original layer like the original bed but it's very similar it's still very breathable and I think a lot of people are gonna like this guess guess how much this cost uh, I would have to guess maybe around like somewhere between seven eight hundred bucks yeah I actually looked it up and it says this is $575 for a king. So it's a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the original. And so if you have a Sam's Club membership, maybe you should consider getting this one. All right, so let's get a little closer look at this cover here. Uh, the tag on the bottom of this mattress says that this is polyester. So it's nice and stretchy, just your basic kind of cloth cover. It also, the mattress does not suggest that you take this off and machine wash it. So that is a good thing to know. Um, and then the foam is even like a little springy. I know there's no coils in here, but it's not a kind of foam that you're just gonna sink down into. It's got some bounce back to it, which is really nice. And then when it comes to the edge retention, I would say for an all foam bed, this is pretty normal. Um, it does cave in a little bit, but it's nothing to be concerned about. I would say the edge retention here is pretty average. And you'll notice whenever I stand up too, it springs right back up, so it's not, it's a very reactive foam. It just springs right back up into place. As you can see, I'm a larger person. I'm right around 200 pounds. And um, you can see that the edge is caving just a little bit. So if you're a very large person, we would recommend a hybrid bed. We have a card up here where you can check those out. Um, but really those have coils built into them and they're gonna last longer. And so what you do is you take your, your height in inches and divide it by your weight in pounds. So if, you, if you're above 2.5 pounds per inch, maybe I'd suggest getting a hybrid. And if you're under that, maybe and all foam is, uh, is fine for you, but I just help you with that. Like that's the only downside of all foam is it's not gonna hold up well over time if you are larger. So I wanted to show you guys the inside. Now again, you shouldn't take this off really, but basically this looks exactly like the original. I'm gonna show you guys the original in just a moment, but really it's super simple. You have a fire sock and two layers of foam. They have the adaptive foam right here, which is kind of soft and springy, and then the poly foam down here. So this is not flippable, but it's super, Super uh, easy, super simple. And you know, they say that this is actually like really breathable because there's not a lot of layers. And so it's just kind of a straightforward design. Let me show you guys the original. This is the original Tuft & Needle that we actually, we've had this for like what, three or four years? Mm -hmm. And what do you think? How does it feel now? I gotta be honest, I actually like the Sam's Club one better. Really? This, this to me feels, Okay, how, I don't know how to explain it. It almost feels like rubbery. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it feels firmer and I don't feel like much squish to it. It feels like a nicer material underneath, but the overall construction I would say is a tiny bit firmer. Like this one actually is more adaptive, I think, but they're so similar. It's, I don't know if you would actually be able to tell. I think the other one's comfier. You think That's the other just one's? Me. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and here is the original Tuft Needle that we reviewed about three or four years ago. And um, you can see that it has the same fire sock. I just removed that. And we have two layers, just like before, 10 inches. Uh, we have three inches of the adaptive foam with graphite this time, which is basically the same. And then we have the poly foam down here, which has turned a little bit yellow. That's very normal. And so when I look at the two different mattresses, um, the only real difference I can see is Sam was right. This is a little bit firmer, I would say, in some ways, but they're essentially identical. And you know, this cover, I think, I think they've updated their cover since then, 
but you know if you're talking about value uh, the other one is probably a better value and again just make sure that you guys have a protector for this because you're not going to want to take this off and clean it it's not really designed to remove the cover so just make sure that you know you're spot cleaning it or just using a mattress protector because that's going to save you a lot of hassles from staining and cat scratches so definitely check one out in the description below so as you can see this is very similar to the original it has the sort of same topper two layers of foam there's very small differences like it's a little bit firmer doesn't have the graphite infused foam um, but you know if you're saving a couple hundred dollars you can't beat it and so you know if, I think if you're looking at an all foam bed with a 10-year warranty um, you should definitely check this one out it's sort of like a Casper or an, uh, a Nectar um, but maybe just a little bit firmer but again it's only like $500 so it's actually quite a bit cheaper and you should have a link below down there to save you guys some money if you're interested in getting one um, what else should they know they should know that if they want to see any of our other tuft and needle content there's like four or five mattresses at this point go ahead and click on our playlist over here for all other mattress content click over here and be sure to click down here to subscribe before you go we'll see you guys in the next video peace